One of those Dollar Tree hosts stole my phone, right? So nice. Fresh, vibrant, brings the room in. I take a hint of Friends. The ones you know that got you. Friends. <laughs> So welcome back to another vlog. So I'm starting this vlog off real late. Last night I got home really late, so I kind of showed you guys the stuff earlier and then a few things you guys probably saw in that vlog that are pertaining to what I got today. So I ended up going to Home Goods today and Target. So Target first, guys. I got some basic stuff. Like I got a basic drying mat. I actually got rid of like the drying rack. So I just have a drying mat. Um, my dishwasher works now, so you feel me? So I literally can just wash the stuff. And then put it on the drying mat just to dry and then put everything away. I got some grits, uh, some quick grits, basic quick grits. I also got some oatmeal as well to the oatmeal packets. I picked up some tea because the tea was on sale for $2.99. So I got the mint tea and I also got the uh, green tea as well too, the Target brand. So these are on sale for $2.99. They didn't have any lemon ginger so I just opted for these two. It does the same job. I did get some Truvia um, packets which is just Stevia Leaf uh, Sugar Sweetener. So I got a pack of this. I also did get turkey bacon. I noticed that Oscar Myers changed the packaging on the bacon now. So in my head I was like what? what is this? Why is it this color? So they changed it's obviously green and yellow now so i thought this was cool got my turkey bacon because i don't have any i have sausage but i just don't have the turkey bacon so i need the turkey bacon um what else did i get okay so that was it from that's all i got from target that was all i got from target i did go to tj um home with goods like i said uh, i actually went to marshall's as well so i went to marshall's and I picked up this acrylic set. I needed an acrylic set for my makeup. I got this one mainly for the brushes, just to organize the brushes out. And this one for the makeup. On the move, I literally threw away so much of my makeup. So I really don't have that much anymore. And I wanted to keep it minimal because I realized that before, I was just doing way too much. So in the spirit of keeping things minimal, this is all I got. Like literally, this is it. I'm not collecting up makeup anymore. I'm basically stick to a basic ass look, so bad is that. The plumber's supposed to come because we have a leak in the bathroom, so that was it. That's them. They quick as hell. Anyways, I did go ahead and pick up art. Now the art I'm gonna try to hang it up today and kind of figure out how I want it. Um the baskets that I did get from my kid, they look okay underneath the table. I'm starting to think now, do I need to keep those or well, I don't know yet, but they do look pretty decent. So I did get this three-piece wall art set from Home Goods, which is super cute. My nail just broke up. No, it didn't break up. So it's kind of like the desert style. Um, I thought it was very, very cute, guys. This was $59.99, which in my opinion is pretty expensive, but I thought it was nice. I love the colors. The colors actually go with my theme and stuff. Well, I basically, like y'all didn't realize, I kept the same theme from last time. I'm just adding extra touches to stuff. I also found this utensil holder. So you guys know I've been trying to get like things that kind of match the stone on the, the granite right here. So I found this one. It was at Target for $31. So I got it for $15. So I got it for half the price at Home Goods. Um, it's a utensil holder. So I'm just going to put all of my. Um, it looks like somebody dirty this too. I got to clean this up. So um, I'm going to just put all of my like spoons and stuff like that in here. The things that I use. I decluttered a lot. So I don't have a lot of utensils. I used to hoard a lot of stuff like that before. But I no longer do that. So this goes with the countertop and stuff. So it's only $15 guys. It cannot be that. Now I also did get a little plant. I never ever get plants like this. But I saw this. And I'm like this is super cute. So it's kind of like a grassy mixy type of thing i might have like i don't know what pompous really looks like but i'm assuming that no it's not but is it i don't know but it was really really pretty guys look at that and it's a nice white vase so on my end table i'm probably going to put this up there with two of the portraits and then split one of the portraits on here just because i want to make there's nothing in the back right here i need to just add something there just for style but i really really like this right here and I think that this will look really cute on the end table walking in. And you guys will see the whole mirror set up. So it'll be really good for the entranceway. So I thought this was cute, guys. It was only $25. Oh, $30. Woo! $30. Yeah, I spent $30 on this. I'm having like little withdrawals. That's, don't worry, guys. I kept the receipt for $30. 
yeah but it was cute guys so i picked it up and then i did get two pillows um some Seer, uh, sealy's pillows they sell them at um two two in a pack it was like 30 dollars for two and they're very nice so once i set up the bedroom today and stuff like that i'm gonna actually put a lot of things together i'm gonna put the curtains up i'm gonna change the sheets clean the room you know set up the portraits and also set up the bed like put the new sheets on the new pillows i'll show you guys everything once i'm done i'm actually really really hungry right now it is one o'clock so I have to get something to eat right now, guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I got to put all this stuff away. And I do want a coffee, too. So I'm thinking, should I walk to Dunkin' Donuts to get a coffee? Done right now. So what I'm about to do after is go ahead and finish my office by hanging up some of the curtains in the office. The bedroom came out really nice, guys. I'm not even going to show you guys my bedroom no more. Y'all don't need to see that area. But the bedroom came out nice. I'm going to show you guys this area that I finished up here, which turned out... Oh, yeah, that's the office, guys, but I'm going to get to that. So this area turned out so freaking cute. Um, you guys can see the baskets from Ikea on the bottom. This end table I got from Wayfair. I'll leave links down below this time just because I know you guys are probably going to ask. I'm going to switch this out and get something more cute, like fashionable to put here for your keys. The flower, the plant, you guys, so I got yesterday at... Um, what is it, Home Goods? I ended up taking the little calendar. I don't know if you guys realize this is a calendar. So you can either put it on the calendar page side or I just left it on the May because I love the little message, the bloom where you are planted. And I got this candle as well from Ikea. So I basically think that this area is very cute. I have not put up the this yet, but I think I'm gonna do it because it comes, I believe this comes with like a little screw kit. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. And like I said, it's set nice. Y'all see that? It's gonna look so fire. So. This is basically what I finished right here. I also did go ahead and put this up against the wall. And like I mentioned before, the other picture is right there. So it all comes through together and this right here. So um, yeah, so this came out nice. I feel like once I put up the mirror right there, you guys are gonna kind of see like the full effect look like, look at that, so nice, fresh, vibrant, brings the room in, just makes it look really nice and soft. It's kind of like a, you know, let's, I don't know. I think it's really cute. Let me know what you guys think about that, but obviously in here i need to do some work i moved the dresser in the middle because dan was telling me just move it there so that i could put a nice size chair right here and then the greenery wall that i want to do i might have to go to hobby lobby on um thursday so i have some things to do but i'm gonna start this one i'm pretty much gonna be able to do everything i need to in here i'm just gonna have like a leftover stuff but the leftover stuff i'll figure that out um i did go ahead and get some more hangers because i want to hang up some more stuff here so this turned out well and then i did go ahead and put the mirror behind the door because the mirror is big enough where it could fit behind the door so let me step back so you guys kind of get the whole look of this one i just have to clean things up this ottoman right here is going to go against the window so i'll do this after the video is completely up on youtube the thumbnail is there it's monetized all that kind of stuff i'm going to come in here and finish all the things that i have to do and then that's going to be that for the office space um i just need to purchase a chair and do my greenery wall and then that is that so yeah so it's very nice and i really think that I did a good job on this one. I pretty much think I did a good job. So let me know what you guys think. This one, this, I, I was actually filmed showing you guys how I put this together in last week's vlog. So you guys will see in the vlog that's coming up on Friday. So I did show you guys how I constructed this and how I organized it and stuff like that. So that's part of the vlog. So last week's vlog was basically me like organizing, moving and organizing and trying to get things together. So um, I feel like I need like another week to actually pull everything together. Cannot find a sofa that's not going to be delivered for another three weeks. So it's kind of like, okay. But then at the same time, like we sit on the sofa, but we're not always in the, on the sofa. Like I really sit at the table and chair in the kitchen. So it's kind of like, do I want to get something that's like a thousand plus dollars? Or do we want to just get something that's like really super affordable? That's nice and convenient. We can sit on it, lay on it, do whatever we want. So I'm going to figure something out. I'm probably going to go look to um, on Thursday at a furniture store. Or I'm just going to order on Wayfair. Because Wayfair, the last chair we had, I bought the, ch the chair, one of the legs broke. But the legs broke because the leg was like a little stick. I should have just stuck to like a square style um, legs. Because those are more supportive. So, and yes, I got my brunch club uh, nighty shirt on right now. And a hat. Just chilling, guys. Like, I also want to do my hair. Because I don't want to get cute. It's supposed to be nice for the next few days. So, I feel like I need to shut this in there. I feel like I need to get my like life together. So that is what we are going to do a little bit later. But yeah, so this is what I'm looking like today. 
I also did put my YouTube plaque here and then this portrait right here too, just to kind of give like a little walkway. I have a whole entire studio set that's right here in this box. So I'm going to go ahead and like set everything up and then it'll just kind of be like in this area. I mean, it is a film studio session, studio office in here. So, you know, equipment is going to be places. You feel me? Wagwan Mayot, it's been a few days. I Did I talk to you guys yesterday? No. Oh my God, I didn't talk to you guys yesterday at all. Oh, I did. I showed you guys a little bit of things I was doing. This vlog is probably going to be short. Tomorrow I got the vlog to post up for you guys, so I got to edit that today. I do want to put a hair video up today. It's already done, so it'll probably go up at 8.30 or 8.45 p.m. Probably like eight minutes long. So I'm going to Connecticut right now. It is 9.57. I'm about to go pick up some patties for my mom. I'm not going to stay in Connecticut too long because I don't have that much to do. I do want to get a pedicure because my toes look crazy, and I'm going out this weekend, so... So that's where the vlog is going to continue because I'm going out. Um, so, yeah. So hopefully, as a matter of fact, last, the vlog I'm putting up tomorrow is actually good. It was a first hot day at NYC, Cinco de Mayo. It was a good week. So hopefully you guys enjoy that one. You guys will see a little bit of the apartment. Um, I basically wrapped up my office, but I'm not ready to show you guys the office until I get a chair and until I get, like, a throw blanket. So there's a few more things I want to do in the office. So once I get that done, then I'll show it to you guys. The unit on the rocking, guys, is from My First Wigs. Love love this unit like i have to I should have straightened it up but i want to put in a ponytail but i don't have a hair tie right now so once i get a hair tie i'm gonna go ahead and put it up the garage parking i did get the garage parking so i have to wait uh till i get an email back with the code but i actually couldn't just open and park to be honest with you he told me i could just push the up and on button and get in by myself so we'll see today when i get back home hopefully i can find a parking spot out here when i get back home but if i can't I'm using the garage because oh. so y'all know I gotta put the patty cam on for you guys. Like look at those patties guys. Looks so so freaking good. Like look at that. And this is the fish I got my mom fish and I got her herring on island. So you guys know. These reno sheets are really good. It comes with 25. Very easy to use. And affordable. $1.25. You always gotta get one. So I'm just gonna put it like this. This day has already turned out to be a nightmare of a day. So literally, guys, I got to Connecticut around 12:30-ish or like 12:20. I was in Dollar Tree. You guys saw me in Dollar Tree filming, didn't y'all? Y'all saw me filming Dollar Tree because we was filming together, right? Some one of them, one of them Dollar Tree hoes stole my phone. I don't know where I put the phone down down at, but they stole my phone. So I go to the front, I have them call the phone, and then the phone is off. So one of you hoes stole my phone, right? Mind you, I couldn't even track. I couldn't even track the. Um, what's Mom, going on? Daniela. Hello. Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. So one of those Dollar Tree hosts stole my phone, right? So T-Mobile was literally around the corner, guys. And I need my phone to work, as you guys know. So I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to be petty like that. I'm not going to argue with these people. That's fine. So I go to T-Mobile and purchase a brand new iPhone 13. Mind you, I have an iPhone 12. So it's a little upgrade. It is what it is. And I'm just going to put this out here for y'all. God is really good. Because thank God I'm not in the position where I can't do stuff like that, where I can't buy a phone if something happens or I can't help myself out if something happens. So thank God for that one. 
but you know what? I'm still going to be petty. So I ended up signing into my iCloud. She set the phone up for me. I go find my iPhone and tell me why the iPhone is tracking set the location. So yes, yes, I went over to that Dollar Tree and turned the fuck up in there on those people. And I say to her, so y'all made me go out and buy it. So I was like, so it took me a thousand dollars to go buy a new phone for y'all to come back, for me to come back and find out that y'all got my phone here. I was, and I said to the, I was like to the manager, ask your employees for my phone. Like, are y'all kidding me? And of course, one of the employees are like, oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. The location says the phone is here. So you know what? In the spirit of being nice, in the spirit of not being a petty ass bitch, because I could be a petty ass bitch, I was like to the girl, I was like to, I was like to the manager, I was like to her, you know what? It's the principle of the fact. Y'all can have the phone, but it's the principle of stealing people's stuff and trying to act real sh shady and acting like y'all ain't got it when I know y'all got it. But you know what? I'm not a petty person today. Have the phone. Keep the phone. Good let the good times roll. Can't be mad and petty forever. You know, I'm in a better mood now since I've got my wine and my food. So I'm not mad about it at all. It is what it is. I'm in better spirits now than I am. It is what it is. Then, you know. Sometimes you win some. You just won't get no pedicure today. What is the police report going to Really? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, can I? I know this is weird, but can I have an egg for please? I want an egg in mine. Okay. Love it. They actually gave you a lot. I thought you were going to get like a handful. Do you know that's like just turned into a big mess um i'm actually <sighs> still in connecticut i'm about to leave in like the next um 13 minutes like the next 10 minutes uh, i have enough gas but i'm just gonna put a little bit more gas and i gotta get to the house hopefully i get to the house by 7 30 because i have a video that i need to go up at nine o'clock which should be done by eight and I'll have a, some time to actually premiere it, which is great. The parking is available at my building today, so I'm gonna just park the car, and, like double park it, go inside and get the code and park my car because uh, Space One is available for me, so I gotta do that. I feel like my spirits were definitely like, they weren't, honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Listen, and this is being honestly real, like transparent. When I realized that the phone was stolen, I panicked guys in the beginning because I heard the way I knew that the phone uh, was stolen or was taken was I had one ear pod in my ear right and I was playing a song but I stopped the song so wherever I stopped the song which I don't remember and I'm not gonna try to fumble in my head to remember because at this point we're we have a new phone it is what it is I got my, th my new iPhone 13 so it is what it is I'm happy here it is we're good so when I was in the store I heard the ear pod go off like turn off that's when I knew my phone was stolen. Once I heard that click noise, I looked down and I was like, wait, why would it do that? Boom. Then I knew. So I had the person in the front desk call and they said that they, oh, it's on, it went straight to voicemail. Of course, because somebody's so petty like that. But it is what it is. T-Mobile, fortunately, was two minutes down the street. So I drove to T-Mobile. That was two minutes down the street. Told her to stop to erase the phone. I told her to erase it, which means that they can't get in it. And then number two, we did. We went on cloud and I cleared the phone out. So I erased the phone, I erased all the memory on the phone, everything, all my iCloud stuff, I erased every single thing on the phone, so they'll have the phone, and I also, now T-Mobile does this thing where they erase a serial number so you can't use a serial number on the phone. So, <laughs> the thieves out here in 2022 because there's still people that literally steal your stuff, which I find funny because I say this to say this, I personally would not steal someone's phone. You don't know if somebody got a family member that's sick. Uh, you don't know if they have a child to pick up for aftercare and they need that phone. You don't even fucking know what's going on, but y'all stealing people's stuff in 2022. Like, really? A phone? I'm saying coming from me, coming from Dominique, that if I found somebody's phone in the store, bro, I would hand the phone right back. Past weekend, I left my bag at the restaurant. I had my iPhones in it, I, my headphones in it, my AirPods. My AirPods in it, I had a debit card in there, and I actually had money cash in there. I went to the bar, picked up my phone the day after. Every single thing was in the fucking bag. And I know some people are like, well, 
you tracked it. Well, this is the funny thing. My AirPods are trackable as well, too. So the only way I knew that the AirPods were still there is because I was able to track them there. So there's no way that these people could sit here and tell me that they don't got my phone when I can track the, air, the phone at the place. The phone is literally still at the place where I was just at, guys. Look at the phone. The phone is still in the location. It's black, obviously, because I erased the phone. So I erased all the stuff on the phone. I erased my everything. The phone is still at this dollar store. Now... Man being the type of girl that I could be because I was that chick and I'm not afraid to say anybody that knows me knows how it is. I'm the type of chick, I'm being honest with y'all, I would have kept that bitch right after work. Trust me, I would. Mm -hmm. And pull my phone right out of her pocket or snatch that bag out of her hand and get my phone. But guess what? I'm feeling like Santa Claus today, I guess. Santa Claus in May. Take the phone, ho. Take it, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to fight you. Go call cops for a police report on something that they physically, honestly, and truly can't tell the people, I need to search you for a phone. You can't do that illegally. So I'm going to go through all that for them to run a camera to get a subpoena for a camera for a phone, a fucking iPhone 12. Why are y'all stealing people's iPhone? Like, it's just like, yo. <laughs> do what you want. Do what you want. I hope you're watching this video too. Do what you want. It's just embarrassing. Like at the end, y'all think I don't re recognize y'all faces? I recognize all of y'all faces that was in that store. That's mad bummy. Bummy, 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 bummy. Bummy as fuck. Like, like I said to y'all, regardless of where I'm at in life, I'm not stealing nobody's phone because you don't know what that person had to do. You don't know if they had somebody in hospice, somebody at the hospital that's like on their deathbed. You don't know if they have to pick up kids after school. You don't know what the fuck that person had going on in that phone. All you had to do was find the phone and replace the phone. Why? And then this is the dumb part. You ain't gonna get shit for the phone anyways. I had to cover a screen protector, uh, a glass protector, and there was a crack in the screen. So what you gonna get for that phone, stupid ass? Like, I'm gonna let this go simply because I have a replacement phone. I had an iPhone 12, I got a better phone. I got an iPhone 13 Pro Max, so God bless me either way. Sometimes you lose some and sometimes you win some. You can't always win everything and at the end of the day, I've come to realize that I used to flip over. I used to get upset a lot about certain things that happened. For instance, when my laptop broke la last um, during COVID, like I literally didn't panic, guys. I literally, the, the, compu the laptop broke and I just went out and bought a new laptop. Like. If things are not within my control, but I can control it by replacing the item, I'm just gonna replace the item. They're materialistic items anyways. But it's just a simple fact that people could think that they could snatch things from you that they didn't even, that they don't own, that they ain't got, and they could just claim it as theirs. Like, oh, I found a phone. You didn't find a phone, dog. I stood in front of the store when I lost the phone and said, anyone find an iPhone 12 Pro Max? Because I don't give a fuck. Like, I lost my shit, so I'm going to make sure I claim my shit back. So, like, it's just it's just giving really, like, sad vibes. But, hey, the world we live in now, is, it's, it's a, it's a, a, eat, what do you call it? No. What do you call that phrase? I don't know. But everybody out here, I, I really didn't think people was doing stuff like that. I feel like in Connecticut, I was shocked. Maybe I should have went to the more uppity deals because this deal had no offense no shade no tea but this one had a lot of ex-drug addicts working there like stuff like that like weird you know weird ass people like just weird ass fucking people working at that one i should have went to the one in the more um uh suburban area because that one i'm pretty sure if i left the phone in the corner i would walk back and the phone would still be there because people just not in the business of stealing other people's shit like i just I don't know, like, I don't know, but y'all let me know in the comments, but it is what it is, like I said, I'm moving past petty at this point, I'm just moving towards, like, just focusing on what I need, lost my phone, I work for my phone, I could have went through the insurance and got a new phone in two days, but that doesn't work for me, like, it just does not work for me that way, so, I said, fuck it, um, I had, like, a little balance stuff on the other phone, so I was like, you know what, it's fine, I'll just get a new phone, and I'll just pay the other phone um, in lump sum so that I can just get that out of the way and start the new phone. So it is what it is, guys. Um, uh, shout out to God, though. Blessings on blessings on blessings, because maybe, like, about 10 years ago, I probably wouldn't be able to just go out and replace. Not even, I can say 10 years ago now, because, not even 10 years ago, like, maybe, like, 7 years ago, I probably wouldn't be able to break things that are expensive and go out and buy it like five minutes later because I didn't have that type of lifestyle and I didn't have that type of finance but God has been great to me so if I break something that especially a phone because it's my phone 
literally i went to the store two minutes down the street and just bought a new fucking phone but that's not what i intended to, intended to do today i had like an agenda and you guys know i'm very frugal when it comes to money so i had to cut my other my other agenda out just because i had to get a new phone today but it's fine um yeah that's life but if you're working at dollar tree in connecticut and norwalk count your days sis count your fucking days Surprise. So we actually ended up getting the K Express instead because this one was 70 at Target and this one was 60 which and plus this one's space saving and it's better you can make more cups even though it says single serve coffee maker which well this one says too, but this just ain't it this is much better well, that's, that's why. It has a 36 ounce removable reservoir. This doesn't. This only has a one cup reservoir, which I'm not trying to refill the cup all the time. Like, that's just doing too much. So, um, I'm going to give this back to Dan tomorrow because she's going down tomorrow. And this is the one she got me. So, this is on sale for, for 60 bucks at Walmart. And that's 70 But I recommend, I feel like maybe a college kid that only makes one cup of coffee, but I need a reservoir. I need the whole thing. So, all right, guys, so I didn't show you guys everything that I got the other day, but I did show you guys the Keurig and the whole situation with that. That's going back. Oh, and I did show you guys I got the new iPhone 13, which is right here. Focus! So, iPhone 13 Pro Max. I got the regular charcoal color in it. Um, my case is coming today from Amazon. I ordered last night, so I'll show it to you guys when I go pick it up downstairs in the mail room. Um, I kept it real simple. Yes, I shouldn't have bought anything at Dollar Tree, but I did. I got these lashes for $1.25 each. They had, I think I got all of them. They only had like three there. Um, very, very nice, guys. Look at that. Yo, Ion? They be doing it. Ioni? Is it Ion? Ioni? Ioni. I also got some black eyeliner. I got lashes from the beauty supply store. I just got two of them right here. The Remy one and the mink one. Very, very nice, kind of like pixie mink lashes. So I always pick these up. I did go ahead and pick up another Dr. Teal's moisturizing. I tried the coconut one. I have the lavender one in the bathroom, but I wanted to try the coconut one out. Um, this is really good, like especially in the summer if you want that extra glow. So I use this and then I top it off with obviously like lotion like Aveeno. I got two things of paper towel from the Dollar Tree. I did go ahead and get a little replenishing conditioner because I'm going to wash my hair this weekend. I got some plates. I got 80 plates. And then I also got some super heavy duty uh, forks. Did I open this? I probably did open it. Yeah, so, so two packs of the super duty forks. These are the best ones. Trust me. Um, and I did go ahead and pick up the Perfect Women's Multivitamin, which is the Ali. The only reason, this was the mo this was more expensive than the other ones, but the only reason why I got this one is because if you look at the facts, these had the higher numbers for um, each vitamin. The folate was, ex was on point. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, so this one has everything at a pretty good number. So I'm going to go ahead and take these. I didn't have references. I'm going to have two of these and have my breakfast. Next week, I'm going to get back into what I eat in a week, like together, together. There. Um, obviously I saw the house is pretty much done like they pretty much I mean they pretty much I pretty much did what I need to do so you guys pretty much see this my office is I put the curtains up the other day so my office is kind of done as well too so yeah so I'm gonna do um, like I feel like everything is coming together so I can like relax now and get back to work oh I forgot to tell you guys I also got the dark magic why am I stuttering son I also got the Dark Magic Dark Roast, um, so I can go ahead and set this Keurig up and make myself a coffee. But I'm, I don't think I'm going to make coffee today. I'm just going to set it up. I also want to figure out what I'm going to do with this bar. I know I want to do like water daily, but I'm going to have to get something to elevate this so that the nozzle, like, you know what I'm saying? It needs like a little bit like of a booster so I can get like... Oh, I know what I can get for this. I'll probably have to go to Ikea just so I can level it up so that when I pour water into it daily so I can kind of track how much water I'm drinking. So I thought that I will put this there. The coffee things will be there, but the Keurig will be over there. So um, I think I'm going to have to restack this. I do have wine in the fridge on the wine rack, but I want to get um, some bottles down here, a few bottles, and collect some wine on the bottom rack. But I want to reorganize this because it just looks so clustered with a lot of stuff. So I think I might move the coffee cups 
or move some of the like drinking cups down there on the lower level and leave more of like the coffee cups and those like mason jars up here so it doesn't look so cluttered so i'll figure that out I feel like once i get like a few bottles or whatever then it'll come together but yeah it's just the bar cart here i'm trying to fill it up with water daily gallon of water daily just so that i'm drinking water like i'll come over here and fill it up i'll put some ice in in the morning and then you know start it off that'll be like my new routine so yeah so that is basically it y'all and the bathroom is in here um i didn't show it to you guys all the way yet but i did do a few things in here but you guys will see that once i show it to you guys uh, yeah so that is all i got guys did i tell you guys about the flushable i did tell you about the flushable wipes really good travel really good to put in your bag when you're traveling so yeah so that's basically it everything i got yesterday today's a new day and I have a video vlog to edit for you guys today. So I'm going to, it's actually very early now. It is, not very early, it's 9.50 a.m. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start editing the video. Probably going to go out real quick to Target to see if I can find something to elevate um, that water jug so I can get that crack in. Um, but yeah, so that's about it, guys. I'll show you guys myself a little bit later because I look crazy and crusty right now, but... Yeah, so happy Friday the 13th. You're just a little tired. Who do you belong to? Yeah, I'll make you better. Uh, Thank you, Sam. I'm going to look 21. Darling, we have this tube down your throat to help you breathe, but we can take it out now, okay? You extubating him? Yeah, he's got good tidal volume. Man, it's just scary there, Tommy. I got it. Thanks. So, Tommy, what I want you to do... Just take a deep breath and then blow out as hard as you can when I pull out the tube. Okay? All right, take a deep breath. All the way in. Good, good, good. And blow. Good job. Okay. It's going to be a little tender. Try and speak right away. Nikki's here. She's fine. I was in you want to sit inside? That pony looks good. Thank you. You're in the house. Thank you. I'm <laughs> just a wig. Oh, wait. What is a, a mimosa thing right there? Oh, the mimosa looks good. Maybe I should get it. That looks really good. Really it looks like they use a Trader Joe's juice in it. And mm. what? Yeah. Mimosa. I had it before, but I don't really know. Yeah. Okay. Are we doing the Barati bag? Yeah. Okay. Stop. <laughs> How's that one there? Looks like you got that pinky like this underneath it. Get closer. Get level. I say pinky. Who is blazing? It's really champagne. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, really, there's a splash of juice in there. You know, in his rare. Right what is this? Thing? The relish, the sure. lemon, the yes. lemon relish, the lemon and peppercorn. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, is this a hot pizza that you be getting here? Yeah. The ones you can depend on, friends. The ones you know that got you, friends. <laughs> you freestyle. Daniela, you remember how I tell you my jug of water used to go or something? That wouldn't be the jug of water. That can't elevate the jug of water anymore until you can't pour the water out of it. Um, what do you think it is? For it to stand on. I just need something to stand on. Let me see if it's sturdy. It's sturdy enough. Look at it. Put the thing on top of this. Is it this big? Yeah, look at it. I really like this one. So I might get this one. Y'all already know the green goddess dressing. Banging. No progressive soups? Let me just spit a little something to you guys about being protected and stuff like that. So I had no intentions of coming to Connecticut today. 
Um, I, w I was supposed to hang out um, in New York, like I told you guys before, right? <clears throat> so, while I'm on my way back from Stanford from going to Target, I get a phone call from a strange Connecticut number, right? So I'm like, okay, who is calling me? Because I really give my number out. Like, nobody knows, my, like, nobody be calling me like that, right? So I go and I see a voicemail and I click the voicemail and then guess who it is? Dollar Tree calling me. Hi, I'm calling you to let you know that we have your phone. Huh. Huh. But how did you guys get my number? Huh. Uh. So Dollar Tree called me and they had my cell phone. So I quickly went over there and picked up the phone from the girl. And I'm just sitting there thinking to myself, like, really? I literally just bought a new phone. So I went to T-Mobile. Guy, all this happened like really quick. Everything happened so fast, like literally. So I went ahead and I went to T-Mobile, which was maybe like eight minutes down the street. I, well, it was two minutes actually, but I, did, I went to that one first and the people in there just acted like they didn't, they, they, they couldn't help me. So I went to the other T-Mobile that was like eight minutes away and they were more helpful at that one. So basically they were trying to show me that I, I had them kind of like return the phone and then buy the phone back and trade my other phone in. Because at this point I've already had the phone, like I've already bought a protector, I already bought a case and everything. And honestly, I owe like a little bit of money on the phone. So I'm like, okay, fine, just take the, just, just give me the money for the phone. Like trade the phone in and give me whatever it is you guys want to give me for the phone, right? So the guy was like, okay, it will work, but you just have to bring back the box so we can scan it and the cord that's in the box. So I luckily, when I get stuff, I never touch it like that. So I still have everything, um, at the house so he set it up like he did like a mock like return and the mock return work he was like it could work but you have to make sure that the store has the color phone you have because he is not sure if they're gonna allow him allow me to return the phone and give the phone back to me which I feel like is dumb because I already paid I'm not gonna pay hundred dollars again for the taxes on the car I'm just not so return the phone and give me the phone back that's how I'm thinking but I'm gonna go back to T-Mobile tomorrow with the box and everything and the receipt and see what they can do so that it's like a smooth transaction I'm just gonna return the 12 Pro Max that I have and just keep the 13 Pro Max but do it under my trade-in warranty I mean my trade-in program where I could just get a new phone and upgrade upgrade the phone so that's what I'm gonna attempt to do um, we'll see how it works I'm not mad because I have a phone it's just a bummer I don't want two phones so like <laughs> you know but like I said God don't like ugly and if you're a good person you will you will you will reap the benefits of being a, you will reap is it reap, reap the benefits of being a good person because you know when things get taken from you for no reason because it shouldn't have been taken from me God's gonna give it back to me so I ain't stressed it out like I said I did flip out but let lesson learned materialistic things like that don't really like it doesn't my life doesn't revolve around materialistic items like you know electronics and stuff like that like i said when it happened i took my black ass right to the next t-mobile store and repurchased a new phone because it's not that serious like um i definitely spazzed out on the people in the store and it's funny because uh the manager was like yeah you came in here you came in here blowing this up yes i did and i'm gonna be honest with you guys that's the type of yes i did i did i sure did i sure did i sure oh god I sure did I sure did because I was upset like I was upset okay but with growth and maturity and me coming to the conclusion that it wasn't a big deal I got blessed with my phone back so now I got <laughs> yo I was guys two phones and just as proof I so me to show you guys same screen because the screen doesn't change so but I got why is the other one lighting up I got two phones guys so I'm gonna bring this back and just fix the whole situation too. thank you have a nice day. Have a good Bye. Bye. Oh my god, I think they knew that. <laughs> the girls are subscribed. Oh my god, the whole crew came up to the thing to give me my food. <laughs> Alright guys, it is 8.08 .08 right now and I'm actually on my way back home. So today actually ended up being a pretty decent day. I'm actually happy that I got the phone back, but I still feel like there was some petty stuff going on. Because I literally tell you, there is no point of stealing someone's phone nowadays. You can't do anything with the phone like you can't so i really feel like one of them took the phone and then decided that you know for whatever reason it was to put the phone back and hide it somewhere because there's no way you're gonna sit here and tell me that from friday to saturday not even thursday after early afternoon early morning i mean late after late morning sorry why am i stuttering so you cannot tell me that thursday around 11 o'clock all the way up until saturday today that nobody but the employee today found the phone in the store on the shelf that's impossible guys like, I did not go on shelves like that. I literally was in the candy section and the eyelash section. So what shelf? What shelf? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. 
That's why I'm telling you guys, there's no point of stealing someone's phone. There really is no point of stealing anyone's phone. I'm serious because you can't do anything with the phones anymore. Technology is so good. Like once you, you can't do anything with the phone. You can. So thank God. I, re I thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Ooh, weekend full of drama, baby. So I'm on my way home right now. I did pick up a few like little bit of groceries or whatever. Um, like some sassy little turkey, stuff like that, like basic stuff. I got some garbage bags. I'll show you guys when I get to the house. Um, I didn't really vlog that much, especially I didn't want to vlog in Target because I actually uh, went to the bathroom and I didn't want the people to see me with the camera going to the bathroom be, be kind of weird. So I decided just to, to put the camera away because it'll just be awkward. I don't want no drama with nobody saying, oh, she has a camera, she was in the bathroom. Y'all feel me? So now I kind of, when I thought about that today, I kind of thought about the reason why people don't bring cam they don't want cameras in the um in stores because they don't know what the fuck you're doing so i definitely like just put the camera away in target because nah but i only got two things in target so i'll show you guys when i get to the house it's late i'm probably gonna get home around um 9 20 9 30 which is fine and i'm gonna pop my car in the garage and then we are done so yeah guys Today is right, So I went to Five Below and I picked up this really, really cute um, kind of like tray. I thought this was really nice. It actually matches my furniture. I have another one, but I think I'm going to toss the other one. This was only $5.55. Five Below is never Five Below. They just got to stop lying about that. But this is really, really cute, guys. I also went to, to oh, I also got this from Five Below. Love this. I'm going to do some reels tomorrow, start doing some reels, or probably Monday. Um, start uh, doing more content because I'm off of suspension on Instagram for some stupid shit. But anyways, um, so it said send, send nudes. So I thought this was so cute. Just like an everyday t-shirt, like an in-home t-shirt or a quick errands type of shirt. I love wearing stuff like this. This was literally $5 from 5 Below, guys. Really cute. Got a size medium. So I'm probably going to wear this in one of my reels. Love it. Send nudes. I also did pick up this at Target. Target has that little $5 section and that affordable section. I needed something to put on my end table that looked a little bit more um, cuter, just to put keys and little things like that. So I thought that this would look a little bit better. If it doesn't work out, I'll find somewhere else to put it. But I thought that it would look really, really cute if I put it here instead of the basket. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I think that would look better. Oh, I'm not sure yet. Is it? What's that, the candle still lit? No. So I'm not sure yet. I might just leave that. I think that's cuter, but I'll figure that out later. And then I also, guys, I got this little thing right here to put this water jug on because I told you guys I wanted to drink more water. So this thing, I, I don't know. It was like a little stand. I thought that this was too big, but it actually fit, and it goes with the little like drink um, cart. The Keurig is already set up. I had coffee this morning, as you guys can see. But um, yeah, so everything fits, and I'm happy that I got that because I needed to elevate it so that I can actually pour myself a cup of water. I might even push it back so therefore you can really put your cup right underneath it and get that water poured. So you guys kind of see what I was going with. Like I said, I'm trying to drink more water, so I wanted to like get gallons of water and just fill it up every day and try to see how much water I drink or how much water we drink in general. So. Yeah, so this is a little cart. I am gonna get some bottles and put them down below. If you guys wanna send me some in my PO box, that'll be great as well too. I'm thinking about signing for, up for one of those like wine memberships, but I don't know yet. But let me go ahead and set up the grocery store to show you guys everything that I got. All right guys, so this is quite a lot of stuff today, but it's a lot of beverages as well as you guys can see. So I went to Trader Joe's, I also went to ShopRite, and I also went to Target and picked up a few things. So I'm gonna quickly go through it. Um, I got sugar-free ketchup. You guys know I like the sugar-free ketchup. I'm just so used to eating that once I always get it. I did go ahead and pick up two of the uh, 40 calorie light lemonade, organic lemonade from Trader Joe's, the pink one and the regular one. I show you guys these all the time. Then I got the apple cider vinegar drinks per usual. I haven't had the fried rice from Trader Joe's in a while, so I got the vegetable fried rice from Trader Joe's. I got a bag of avocados. I did go ahead and pick up some chicken breast thin sliced. I like doing like cutlets, like, you know, pan fried cutlets. So I wanted to get two packs of these just to make that for the week if I want to. I got some spicy Italian chicken sausage from Trader Joe's. This one is only $5. Like I said, the other one went up to seven and I'm just not doing that. Unfortunately, this one does have pork casing on it, but all you have to do is just cut the casing off and you're good to go. If you don't eat pork or beef like I don't, I just cut the casing off. So I'm gonna cut the casing off of this and have these. I heard these are really, really good spicy Italian. Um, I did pick up three bananas just for the week. Sauce little turkey right there. I did get some regular turkey hot dogs. 
turkey pepperoni per usual. Um, I did go ahead and try out the hash browns at Trader, Trader Joe's this time. Um, I think this would be nice to make like a little um, eggs, bacon, and like one hash brown. That'd be nice. I went ahead and got the turkey bacon again from Trader Joe's. You have to cook this long for it to be crispy. That's what I learned, but it tastes actually pretty, pretty good. I did go ahead and get some black beans, some pinto beans, and I did go ahead and pick up this everything but bagel Greek style yogurt dip. I like stuff like this. So if I make like a some type of like kava bowl this week, I have some arugula, um, some rice, and I put like, you know, like other stuff in it. I'll actually put like a little bit of this in there as well too, kind of like the dress, the uh, dressing for the salad. So I'll probably do like a kava bowl this week and tell you guys what this tastes like because I feel like this is going to taste really, really good. Um, Dan bought rolls, so I went ahead and took two of her rolls to make like a sub. Um, I'll ask Dan how much the calories are for this one because it does tell you how many calories it is on the back of the bag. Um, I got my turkey burgers per usual, my pasture raised large brown eggs, you already know. I do do two potatoes as well, just in case I want to do like a baked potato and chicken this week, something like that. I got it just in case. I got some penne, I got some baby spinach for some um, omelets this week. I got some egg white, liquid egg whites. I did go ahead and get the olive oil spray because I ran out the other one I had. And then I found this at Trader Joe's, which kind of intrigued me. It sounds really good. You guys know I like spicy food. I do like Alfredo sauce, but sometimes the white sauce freaks me out a little bit. I don't know if anyone else has that feeling about it, if that's how I feel about it. <laughs> so I was happy to see that they had a Cajun Alfredo sauce that was kind of like a red base sauce. So I was like, you know what, let me try this. Half a cup, a quarter cup of this one is only 90 calories, which is not bad. You can buff it with 25 calories worth, which is two tablespoons of tomato paste and one tablespoon of tomato paste, which is like 25 calories, and add some vegetable broth and kind of make it like a bigger sauce. So I'm probably going to use this this week and do like some of this penne with it and some chicken or whatever I have. I need to go get some shrimp. I forgot to get shrimp. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, I did go ahead and get uh, some red peppers. I got my lemon ginger cayenne. You guys already know. I got my green goddess dressing from Trader uh, Target. I'm telling y'all, this right here is delicious, guys. So, so good. So you guys have to try this green goddess. Just, I'm telling you, it might be the tarragon that makes it taste like so good. I did go ahead and get the Celsius sparkling drinks and the apple uh, pear. I got three of them. It was three for five. These are usually expensive, but I found them on sale. I think three for five is a pretty good deal. These uh, were a little bit more, two for five for these, but these are supposed to be like, um, kind of like the Premier Protein. The calorie intake on this one is exactly like Premier Protein. I think Premier Protein is 180 or 170. Uh, the carbohydrates on this is seven grams. Di dietary fiber is one gram and total sugars is six. Alcohol sugars are zero. So it's pretty protein packed. This can definitely go as like a meal replacement or you can have this with something else like some avocado toast, which will actually be really nice. Avocado toast in this. So um, I got it. I'm going to try and let you guys know what I think. I was I have not had Premier Protein in a while, but like I said, I'm starting at 1500 calories again on Monday. So I got to get back on it. I did go ahead and find this zero sugar stevia syrup. This one is also a low calories, 70 calories for 30 milliliters, um, which is not bad at all it does have a high it's how is it total carbohydrates 15 gram i'm not doing keto but still it's zero it's zero sugar stevia so you know i like my stuff like that um i also got my 40 percent less cape cod salt and vinegar chips these are the best i think there's they're less calories because it's kettle cooked so this one you can have you can have one ounce of these for 130 calories, which I think is pretty good. And don't come for me with my bananas. I'm about to make banana bread tomorrow, please. I did go ahead and get some Spanish rice. Um, and then I also got some large Febreze Force Flex Glad bags. And there was my salmon that I'm about to have for dinner. I have some leftover corn and some rice. I'm going to eat that for dinner because the bitch is hungry. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically it, guys, for the weekly shop. I still have a lot of groceries in the fridge from last week. But like I said, I, this will be the last time I go grocery shopping for the month because I'm leaving in like 15 days. So this should last me up, up until June when I come back. So um, yeah, so this is basically it. I just have to put the things away and do like a little bit of cleanup. And yeah, oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So this thing right here didn't quite work out. So I'm not about Clutterville no more. This would be cute if I had like kind of like this theme going in my um, closet, but I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this back and get my five dollars back. I know you guys like so petty. Five dollars is five dollars, though. I'm getting my five dollars back. So it didn't work out. So I'm gonna leave the basket that was there. I think the basket just looks better. I'm gonna return this one. I don't really have a specific place yet for this, but I really, really like this. I'm either going to replace one that I have and put this in place of it because I think this one just looks so 
so much better. It could also just be like a tray to eat. We already have a tray that I got from Ikea last week. So I really, really, five, this is so cute, guys. Look, I can't, I'm, I, I'll return this one, but I'm keeping this one. I'm, I'm sorry, I even put the tag back just in case, but like, I really can't part ways with this. Like, this would be so nice, like, to just wake up, have like my little breakfast on there and go sit on the couch, which the couch is coming next week. So yeah, I just really like it, but this, gotta go.